morning. And welcome to cloudy Winnipeg. Do you know yesterday afternoon, I guess around four o'clock in the afternoon, we had a tornado watch just north of Winnipeg here. So when I heard about it, I checked the, the radar and I rolled it back so I could watch and see what they were talking about. Sure enough, there's this ugly looking thunderstorm past just north of the city here. Well, we, we can get tornadoes here. Uh, not like further south, but we can get a tornado here in the in this area. Anyway, our sunrise this morning. Well, uh, the clouds had other ideas. The only thing that makes the sunrise interesting is the fact that I sped it up 300 times. Otherwise, it's just a sunrise. Now, we're going to have a rollback of about, I think it's 17 minutes long as I struggle with this little piece here. And uh, I'm not finished with it. Uh, at the end of the rollback, I talk about a problem that I have when I'm trying to video and work on something really small at the same time. But I was thinking about it and I, I think I've got an idea for uh, to overcome that problem. And it, it may or may not work but I'm going to try it after the rollback. Um, anyway, let's, let's roll back and see how we got to this place. Okay. We are basically set up the same way as we were before. And I'm just going to try and put a little tiny dollop of this paste on each one of these. Now I got to be careful here because I, I don't want to. I don't want to be uh, having this accidentally coming off on me. I know somebody's going to say, "Well, why don't you use a toothpick to apply that?" Well. Maybe what I should do is just try and get it on one of them even. Why will that not come off of there? I've got to be careful I don't want to bump it. Alright, where is my where's my hobby knife gone here? Oh here it is. Okay. There. I know it, it probably looks pretty ragged right now, doesn't it? Okay, now, my iron here should heat up pretty quick. Uh, it is 300 and, it says 370. Now, is this going to work? Let's just sort of start over here. seem to have uh, accidentally moved everything here. No, not very much. Now do I dare to go over this again and try and smooth it out or should I just leave well enough alone? You know, I think I'm going to leave well enough alone here. Let's just try this one here. Oh. 
I, I, I like them to, I like it to wick its way underneath. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that that's, that's soldered pretty good there. Okay, let's uh, reposition everything and uh, take a look at it. In the meantime, I'll turn this off here so that I don't burn myself. Okay, it's kind of hard to hold this thing so that it's going to be square. But I, I do believe that it's soldered together fairly good here. Now I know when you're looking at it up close it looks like a terrible soldering job, but I think it's strong enough that it's not going to come apart. I think it's stronger than if I had to use uh, uh, CA glue. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay, now let's see if we can uh, somehow bend these uh, little corners up here. Well, it's kind of sharp, isn't it? It's stuck to my finger. Now, I cannot think of any way that we can use Andy's bender on this part. It'd be really nice if I could, you know, bend, bend all of these up at the same time, but I don't think it's going to work out. In fact, I know it's not. There's just too many, too many angles going on here all at the same time. Now, we've got these pins coming out where, the, where it went through those holes that are now filled with solder. I'm thinking that possibly I might be better off using the green uh, tablecloth and just letting those pins sink into the cloth. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do and then try and maybe hold it down somehow with something and then bend each one of these six, well I guess there's twelve, and that they have to be bent up. Well, let's just do it and you're going to see. Uh, unless I'm reading the, uh, the manual wrong, but I think that what happens is that these come up and they will bend, bend up until the point here would touch right right up here. At least that's what it looks like in the drawing. Okay, well here goes. I'm going to take my tweezer and I'm going to lay it down and just so I can put just a very light pressure. I don't want to be pushing down too hard. And then and then what we want to do is bend each one of these up. I'm just going to use my needle here. I should keep an eye on how it's going in case it's all of a sudden going the wrong wrong way. And I do believe this is supposed to just come over and do better with my finger. Yeah, I almost could do it better with my finger. Oh, you know what? Mr. T's poking device would be perfect. Maybe I'll get uh, get them started, and then I don't need to. Well, this is the one that's kind of bent a little bit, isn't it? Whoops! Got to be careful I don't catch. Okay, now the poking device. Now I think that what is supposed to happen is these these points that are that are brought up and are touching this antenna array. This one looks a little bit crooked here. Okay, are um, supposed to be welded or or glued 
onto it. I, that, that's that I'm gonna have to think about. Now, if we turn it around. Now, how am I gonna hold it down? This won't fit in there now. Maybe I'm gonna have to find something a little bit smaller that'll fit in behind there. Okay, what I've got here is a, is a sewing needle. And uh, probably going to have to poke at the pointy end through first. I'll just very gently hold this down. Okay, now the idea is that I should be able to, I don't know if I should do it like this, or maybe maybe I should find something that that is just, just about the right weight that I could push down on that, because I'm afraid I might all of a sudden sneeze or something. Although this seems to be working, this seems to be working. If I, if I put my fingers down on the cloth here, and uh, and then just sort of roll in on it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that that might work. And where's my stuff here? Okay, here we go. Very very gently. Don't want to block the light either. Okay, I'll start at this end this time. Just one. Two, three, four, five. I ran out of fingers. Okay, now, Mr. T. I may have to, uh, Hold this up out of uh, off camera, and uh, and, and a fine, do a fine adjustment here so that I can solder those points. Okay, I, I think we did pretty good there. Let's see if we can pull it out. All right, let's put this on the rotator and see what it looks like. Yeah. Okay, Let's see if we can turn this here a little bit. Now, you know, I was talking about finding some uh, photo or something to see what, what it is these were supposed to actually look like. And, and it could be that these things that I'm pushing down right now are not supposed to be touching these. Maybe they're supposed to be out at this sort of, uh... well, let's see if I can find some photos here. When I went to check out Carlo's book here a moment ago, I thought I'm not going to find anything. Not too likely he's done anything with this little part. But as it turned out, he actually has five separate views. Yeah, and you can see that there are six of those antennas, and the parts that we just bent are supposed to be braces that, you know, you can see that they come down and sort of, uh, well, they're braces that hold those uh, six antenna arrays, or whatever you call them, uh, in position. Uh, okay, it's, it's kind of like what we made. Uh, you know, you can sort of see the similarity. <laughs> yeah, there's a similarity. Okay, here's the thing. If if I'm holding this like this, 
I can I can see it a whole lot better than if I have to sort of hunker down and look at it down there. But that's the ideal place for the camera. Now I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be able to bend these little uh, triangular shaped pieces in against the antenna and uh, so that they will stay there. And my, my plan is to use uh, a CA glue. I'm not going to try to solder it. Um, yeah, it's, it's soldered together quite well and actually I'm surprised at how well those little triangular pieces are lining up with bend that one down just a little bit there yeah lining lining up with the antenna maybe it's come just a little bit more I'm bending the antenna down because you I can't really adjust the triangles because they're well they're like triangles you can't you can't uh, really bend them too too easily well maybe well no I'm not I'm not even gonna try it's easier to to adjust the antenna but uh I think that's going to have to be tomorrow. So, what do we got here? 7.34 already? Well, that's, that's not too bad. I guess we could... No, I think I'm going to call it a night. Uh, yeah. We'll see you in the morning. Very carefully. We worked so hard on that today. <laughs> it is morning and this is my idea if I was to have something that was more or less eye level so that I don't have to scrunch down and I can sort of look in on it uh, well Okay, we'll stop the lens down now. Now, uh, the problem is this, I gotta have the camera adjusted in such a way that it's not looking up my nose. I, th I think the way I've got it right now is okay. I might have to have it come in more from the side. Okay, let's stop her down a little bit here. Well, that's that's reasonably sharp now now the trick will be n not to move this thing when I'm working on it because when you move it in and out as you can see it takes very little motion and it's it's out of the field of view here just half an inch or whatever um, I the, when the macro lens is set to its very closest distance, the the distance from one side of the frame to the other side of the frame is 35 millimeters. That's why they call it a one-to-one -one macro lens. Um, okay. Now, I think I might actually be able to do something here on camera. Let's, uh, where's my other glasses here? I, I've got all these, these clamps here and everything to keep the pail from shaking, otherwise it kind of rocks. And if, if, the syst if the system works, I'll make up something better that can be quickly clamped onto the table and I'll always be in the right place. Uh, that's, at least that's the plan. Now, 
Now, the plan here is I want to be able to, can, see, can I see this? I want to be able to bend this down so that it, okay, you know what? This isn't working either. It was a thought. It was an idea. And, and at first I thought it would work, but I can see now I just can't get the angles right. It's not like being able to hold this little part up in a, in a tweezer and, and with another pair of squeeze, tweezers squeeze it together. It's just, it's just not working out. So, not all my good ideas are good ideas. Okay, I may have found a happy medium here. I'm going to try this. I've got my chair lowered as low as it'll go. And uh, once again, this is the first time I'm trying it. Now the idea is we want to be able to bend these these points down so that they are touching the antenna and not spring back see I can, I can i can sort of press it down you know this this may be just harder than i think it's going to be i don't know why maybe i'll start on on the far end here gently hold it down with my finger without bending the whole thing out of shape here now the, the trick is to get it to to want to stay there. See, if I press real hard, then I'm going to be bending that that triangle out of shape. You see. Whoops! I think I pressed too hard there, didn't I? Gonna have to come up with something else. Either that or this is beyond my ability for doing teensy weensy things. Maybe I'll send it to uh, Peter in Australia. Let him do it. He's good with small photo etch. How much would the postage be, Peter? <laughs> It'd be pretty expensive. Canada to Australia? <laughs> completely on the other side of the world <laughs> okay let's uh, let's come up with something else here okay I've sort of got it here I think most of them are touching the antenna most of those triangular braces are touching the antenna and and the the way I did it was I took my 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 tweezers that have got the rubber inner tube on and I and I just sort of squeezed at the base here like this I'd, at first I'd, I'd rock this way and I I'd do I do one and then I'd rock the other way and I do the other and I just sort of worked worked my my way along uh, until I got them all and uh, okay the next trick will be how do I glue it you know without the glue globbing up and just filling in all those little delicate antenna things
Now I think if I use this Bob Smith Industries super thin glue here and just apply just a very very small uh, amount to where the tip of the triangle touches the antenna it might even wick its way around to both sides I don't know. Uh, I, th I think it'll be okay I don't think it'll be noticeable especially at arms, arm's length. Um, anyway the sun has come out and uh, I didn't think it was for a while but it's nice right now and I want to end today's episode on a really happy note here. I just took this out of the microwave, oh, not that long ago. It's, it was steaming pretty hot, sizzling. I left it in too long. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, it was in the freezer for a week, so. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, I'll be seeing you tomorrow.